Hi Libra, welcome to your May Singles Love Tarot reading. So we're going to get some opening messages with this deck, Libra. This is the Psychic Tarot of the Heart. See what kind of energies we're dealing with. Now this could be, for me as a reader, now it's really important to listen to this, how I'm reading it is it could be it could be someone from the past, depending what comes out. It could be a crush. It could be a missed opportunity from the past. It could be maybe someone that you're dating really, really new, just getting to know them. It could be new love, absolutely, totally someone new coming in. So we're going to see um, what kind of energy we're talking about with this deck here. And then we're going to jump to the tarot. I do have this uh, cosmic tarot. So we're going to do two spreads. We're going to do a small spread on your energy first. See what's going on with you. It's too many. And then we'll do a larger spread for the energy around you regarding love. And we'll see what's going on. And at the end, we have the Divine Feminine Oracles. And we'll get some closing messages with that. All right, Libra, if you find it anytime this reading is not for you, it's not resonating, totally fine. You can leave it for someone else. You can also check out other readings on the channel. In the description box, I do have your some of your April readings and you can still watch them. All readings are timeless anyway. Um, so you could look at those or your May Love is down there as well. But welcome in Libra. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. If you are new or returning, welcome in and thank you. My name is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot and we're going to see what's going on here. All right, Libra singles. Well, we have the Emperor. Oh, and we have lead. We have four, four stability foundation. Let's get all these out, see what's going on. Six of swords, healing begins. Six is a very healing, balanced energy. Ace of cups, brand new beginning in love. One, new beginning. Nine, rest and reconsider. Nine of wands energy. Nine of Wands, so feeling, uh, you know, fight. Someone's been through maybe a battle here. It could be you. Um, now, I think this is either, so you're going to have to take it out resonates. If you need to switch energies around, you definitely can do that. But I kind of feel like here somebody is ready to, you know, take the lead, jump all in, a new beginning in love, and someone is kind of considering it, maybe feeling a little worn out. Someone's fought a hard battle. It could be you, it could be them. Um... So I kind of feel like this is somebody maybe you already know around you. Maybe you worked with this person at one time. I mean, the emperor can be a business owner, entrepreneur, entrepreneur, leader in some way, shape, or form. Also could be a single parent. Um, maybe somebody more mature. But somebody is ready to take the lead here and move this forward, a new beginning in love. But someone's over here like, hmm, I don't know. I don't know. I'm feeling, you know, worn out or, you know, I've been through a lot of battles and I'm not quite sure. Oh, okay, Libra. Let's see. So we have Aries showing up there. All right, so let's see. And that's a divine masculine energy and females can be masculine too. So take it how it resonates. All right, so we're going to look at your energy first. And then we're going to look at the <clears throat> energy around you. All right, Libra, let's see. So let's take a look at your energy first and see what's going on for Libra. Let's see. Oh, Queen of Wands. More Aries energy. Four of Wands. Seven of Wands in reverse. Nine. Look at all this wand energy. Holy crap. Ten of Swords, Ace of Swords, endings and new beginnings here. Hmm. So you could have been through, and we got the Nine of Wands twice here. Now the Four of Wands can be marriage, commitment, but it's also stability, foundation, things of the home. Queen of Wands, you know, fire, attraction, passion, uh, very authoritative energy, you know, someone who goes after what they want, they make it happen. Very, you know, strong, courageous, brave, intuitive, spiritual. So, in the Seven of Wands in reverse about letting down our guard, not having any walls up. But the Ten of Swords is the ending, but the Ace of Swords is the new beginning. So, I definitely feel like here at Libra, you know, so I do feel like there's somebody here where there is a lot of fire and passion here. 
and maybe you know you've you've made it known to each other maybe there's been a lot of flirting um a lot of like good times and flirting and stuff like that not that you've been intimate with them i mean maybe some of you have but maybe you know just a lot of communication it may not be about relationships or anything like that but you may be friends with this person or something like that but i feel like a lot this is somebody i feel like you know you have good camaraderie with them and then i feel like there's a lot of flirting and attraction going on um but it's just kind of left at that but i feel like this other person is feeling like they want more from this connection now it could be you i mean take it how it resonates but i definitely feel like somebody has been through a lot a lot but there's also a sense of being open but I feel like that openness is around just kind of like having fun and flirting and joking and things like that. Let's see what's on the bottom. The moon. But there's a little bit of fear here. So you may have a little bit of fear about jumping into another relationship. You may be fearing this person may actually ask you out or ask you to start, you know, let's pursue a relationship. Eight of Wands definitely is travel action. Seven of Swords, though, is, you know, maybe worried about being betrayed and things of that nature. But look at this. We have the Empress and the Ten of Pentacles. So, I mean, this is about believing in longevity, traditions, values. So, that's what I get for your energy, Libra. Now, if that's like, well, that's not me, maybe it's the other person. But, let's see, we have Aries showing up there again. So we're going to take a look at the energy around you, Libra. Let's take a look at the energy around you for Libra. Let's see, somebody may, I don't know why I'm getting martial arts with that emperor energy. It's something with the robe and the belt. Um, I don't know why somebody may dabble in martial arts or something like that. Some form of it. All right, let's see maybe even an instructor of some kind okay let us see okay let's look at, the, look at the energy around you for libra three of swords oh ace of wands it's so much f ace of wands coming out here five of pentacles eight of swords oh my gosh knight of wands Four of Swords. So there's exciting new beginning here. Two aces, actually. Someone here feels stuck and rejected and heartbroken and feels like everything's just standing still right now with the Four of Swords. It's also healing. Knight of Wands usually goes after what they want. I don't always take that as a player. If you look up the meaning of the Knight of Wands in the tarot, it doesn't mean it's a player. It could be somebody who is very um, strong, fiery, passionate, goes after what they want, you know, explorer kind of energy, go-getter, they take action and they get things done. That's why maybe sometimes people feel they're a little inconsistent because they're always on the go and very determined. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Six of Swords. So that's twice here. And look how we have like two people... Like, just going right into each other here, looking at each other. There's some anxiety here about it. Judgment. So, we have to make up our mind here, what we want. I kind of feel like we have two people... Um, I'm just feeling like two people who... I'm just getting like a lot of flirting, a lot of great camaraderie, interaction. And it's heading towards... Like you're always heading towards each other with this energy. And it just gets stronger and stronger every time. But there's no like real um, dedication and loyalty and just saying, okay, let's just be a couple. Let's just date. Let's just see where this can go. But yeah, when you're together, it's just like a lot of fun and flirting. And great energy between you. But I also feel like one person here feels a little disappointed that it's not moving beyond what it is. I feel like it could be the other person. We do have Sagittarius here. All right, let's see. Libra. Let's see. What else do we need to know for Libra? 
All right, let's see what else we need to know for Libra. Wheel of Fortune, Fate, Destiny, Divine Timing. Two of Pentacles, feeling like everything is up in the air right now. Five of Cups, feeling disappointed. Page of Swords, somebody could be checking out the other person's social media. Wanting to communicate. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody could be divorced. When I get the uh, King or Queen of Pentacles reversed, it's kind of like my divorce people of the deck. So somebody here could be divorced or was divorced in the past or whatever. Um, somebody could be feeling like some the other person doesn't like the fact that somebody was divorced or something like Oh, well, if they got divorced, then that means that this, this, or that. And there, maybe the person who is divorced is too judgmental about it. The other person feels a certain way about it. It may just be in their head. I'm kind of feeling like that, too. Like, some people are like, oh, my God, they're divorced. Well, I guess, you know, it wouldn't work then if they've been divorced. But, I mean, that's not always the case. But things seem really up in the air here with the Two of Pentacles on balance on how something's going to move forward. But the wheel is here to say that this could be fate, destiny, divine timing, things meant to be, positive movement forward, um, growth, luck, expansion. But there's a lot of regrets or sadness maybe about never really coming out and talking about the feelings. But there could be a lot of spying going on on social media or wanting to communicate. Oh boy. Let's see. We've got Capricorn, Sag, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. The moon. Yeah, with the fear about moving forward again. But look at this Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Cups, Wands. You got all four uh, Aces here. Cups, Wands, Pentacles, and Swords. With an Emperor. Successful movement forward here. Balance. Oh my gosh. This Ace of Cups is in reverse, so I don't think this is taken off yet. But there you are, Libra, you know, soul contracts, past life, things meant to be, universal law and order. It could be marriage or divorce. I feel like somebody here is divorced as well. I've definitely been feeling that. All right, Libra, let's see what else we need to know. So we do have uh, Capricorn, Aquarius, Sag, Leo, Christ, Scorpio. I think I said all that. Um, I don't remember. Anyway, <laughs> let's see what else do we need to know here for Libra. What else do we need to know here for Libra? Let's see. The world could be a new beginning here. Could be moving, traveling, or distance, or uh, connecting on social media. King of Swords. Again, somebody could be divorced. I keep getting that. That could be you, Libra. For me, it's Gemini, but definitely could be you. Truth, clarity, two of cups. Yeah, I don't think you've really gelled or come together as a couple, but there is a lot of chemistry here between you. Ten of wands, reverse. So sometimes when you get tens in reverse, it could be a stuck energy. Um... Or something that's not complete, that not, has not yet come to an end. So I definitely think there's more to the story here between the two of you. But I don't think you've come together as a true couple or anything like that. But somebody here wants to speak up and speak with truth and clarity. Could be a fellow uh, uh, air sign or maybe that's you, Libra. Maybe, you know, you're sensing this energy too. Maybe you're going to be the one to come out and just say something first. But the world, again, could be about a new beginning. Usually it's endings and new beginnings, but also it could be moving, traveling, distance, social media. Leo, of course, Taurus, Scorpio. This is usually Gemini for me. I mean, like I said, it could be you again. Libra. Something could be happening in the very, very near future. The King of Wands, definitely a match to the Queen over there. I'm feeling that fire and passionate connection between two people here. It's very intense. Something could be happening unexpected, too, with the Knight of Swords here. But there's been a lot of holding back, Four of Pentacles. But it could be a very fulfilling energy here with the Ten of Cups. Let's see what's on the bottom. Eight of Cups. Keep feeling that distance, like the coming together. But there's, like, feeling the distance, too. 
if that makes sense. Page of Pentacles could be some sort of offer here to come together, talk, could bring in the big change, awakening, epiphany, aha moment, surprise, shock, revelation happening like right now. And jumping all in with the fool. Just, just take the leap of faith here and do it. So either you or them, someone's going to do it here. But let's see. Someone's going to break that barrier, I feel. All right, let's see. Let us see, Libra. Let us see. What else do we need to know for Libra? King of Pentacles reversed. And the Queen of Pentacles reversed. We do have a couple. And you're both reversed, so technically that's a match. Um, you both actually could have been divorced in the past. If you did work together at one time, I don't think you do anymore. Page of Wands, that's all that fiery, passionate flirting, communication. Seven of Pentacles reverse is about getting up and taking action. No more stalemating. And this could be exciting communication coming in as well. So we have Virgo showing up and Sag. Hmm. We do have the Queen of Swords here and the King. It is a match, the one's upright, one's reverse. So definitely a lot of communication has to take place here to get up on the same page. This is actually you, Libra, with the Queen of Swords. King of Cups, there is a lot of love here. There are feelings and emotions, but a lot of holding back. Sometimes the King, you know, has a lot of love, emotions, and feelings, but definitely holds back. Sometimes. Six of Swords, again, about positive movement forward, healing balance. All right, so let's see. Get a few more here and see what's going to happen here. Let's see for Libra. Let's see. Singles. Okay. Three of Wands again. In the near, something happening in the near future, but there is some fear here about the path ahead. But what's coming in in the near future? Uh, uncertainty with the Four of Cups. All right. We can't leave it at that. Two of Wands choosing a path. There is a path here. Six of Wands, but... Mm. someone is not sure but again the king of wands the fire the passion the attraction that you are libra with justice so there is uncertainty here um about the path ahead if it be successful or not if someone did come forward let's see we have leo libra showing up now there's a soul contract things meant to be Knight of Swords. So something out of the blue here. So someone's going to take action. And it may seem a little out of the blue. Maybe a little shocking. But deep down knew something was going to happen here. And there's the Empress. Didn't we see the Emperor under the deck before? So there is a match here. Definitely. A lot of confliction about uh, the whole connection. The big change has to come. You know, walls have to be torn down. And jumping all in here and just going for it. It definitely is what I feel. So I feel like this is Libra Taurus here, Aquarius. Someone's going to just do it. Has to. Otherwise, I mean, this energy is just going to keep going on the way it is. So someone's going to break that barrier so the new love can begin. That's kind of what I feel. All right. So we're going to get you some Divine Feminine Oracles, Libra, see what else you need to know. So if it did resonate, though, leave me a comment, give it a like. All the good things would be greatly appreciated. And also, I have a website down below. Everything you need to know is down there on that website. My socials, my merch, my store if you want to shop for yourself. My wish list if you do want to send me something or contribute to something. You can also tip or donate there by just through PayPal or if you want to buy a latte or you can even do that here on this platform with the thanks button you can uh, send a donation if you want to or a tip or whatever you want to call it don't have to but if you do thank you so much all right Libra the saint of true freedom love is what sets me free I am married to my own soul so I mean this love has to be set free I just it's there the fire the passion's there the feelings are there but we're stuck in just the flirting fiery passion exchange so somebody definitely has to break that barrier. The enlightened feminine. My gut instinct is wise beyond reason. I trust my intuition to guide me. So someone is trusting, going to trust their intuition and just go for it. 
the goddess of magic, sexual energy is sacred. Did I not talk about fire and passion, and chemistry, this whole reading? My pleasure is a prayer that brings me back to life. Okay. The lady of the hermits. I transform pain and suffering into a greater capacity to love. Hermit is definitely a single energy for me. I definitely, two single people here. Need to break the barrier of love, of passion to bring in the love. I am miraculous. My prayers create powerful channels of possibility. So there is great possibility here at Libra. Definitely. All right, Libra, that's what I have for you. So I hope that it helped. That resonated. Again, everything you need to know is down below. I am wishing you the best and I shall see you next time.